So for this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about doing dosage calculations when one of your um, units of measure is expressed as a percent. So as you can see with this order, it says the doctor orders magnesium sulfate 670 milligrams. And when you go to your shelf, you find that you have magnesium sulfate as a 15% solution. And this can be a little bit confusing. But all that you have to remember is when you see something as a percent, that the percent is equivalent to the same number. So in this case, we have a 15% solution. It's 15 grams per 100 mLs. It will always be in grams over 100 mLs. And you can remember percent is equivalent it gives you that meaning of being a hundred so fifteen grams over a hundred mls now there are some cases when if you got into pharmacy compounding where you'd be dealing with different units of measurement but most cases if you're dealing with a liquid you it's just simple just remember it's whatever the percent is in grams per one hundred mls so there's two different ways we can solve this problem the first one that most people are familiar with are, is a ratio. The second one is a formula called DHQ. So I'm going to go ahead and do both and show you how to solve the problem. So to set this up as a ratio, you're going to put that the doctor wants 670 milligrams, and that's equivalent to X mLs. And the strength of your solution, which happened to be a 15%, is equivalent to 15 grams over 100 mLs. Now all you do is a cross multiply, I'm sorry, before you cross multiply and divide, I'm jumping ahead of myself, you need to make sure that your units of measure on top are the same. So if you notice here we have milligrams and here we have grams. So if we solve the problem we would get a wrong number we'd get the wrong answer. So we need to convert one of these. For me, the easiest one to convert is to convert the 15 grams into milligrams. It's easy enough to do, you just multiply 15 times 1,000 and that will give you milligrams. So 15 times 1,000 is 15,000 milligrams. And I have done another. I can do another video tutorial on how to convert between units of measure. But for now, we'll just go on. So now we're going to cross multiply and divide. So we're going to do 670 times 100 divided by the 15,000, and that gives us the answer of 4.46. And the 6 carries out indefinitely. So your answer would be in order to deliver 670 milligrams to the patient, you would have to give 446 mLs. So there's your answer. Another way you can do this, as I said, I mentioned that we can do um, a DHQ. I'm going to go over here and do this in blue. And DHQ is your dose divided by what you have times the quantity and that will give you your dose and I ran out of room so I couldn't write dose so the D is what the doctor ordered so in this case the doctor ordered 670 milligrams what you have in stock is a 15 percent solution which we know is 15 grams per, and whenever you say per, think times, the 100 mLs. And that's your quantity. Same thing, we need to convert one of these because your units of measurement have to be the same. So I'm going to convert the 15 grams over into 1,500 milligrams just like I did in the 15,000 milligrams, just like I did in the first problem. Then in your calculator you can punch in 670 divided by the 1,500 
times 100. So 670 divided by 15,000 times 100. And that will give you the same answer of 4.46 mLs carried out indefinitely. So just two different ways to solve a percent solution. Just remember the percent is grams over 100 mLs. And that will make it a little bit easier for you to solve the rest of the problems.